So now I'm going to model the Google Translate extension. But before I model it, we have I have to show you how to download extensions. Extensions work in the background of websites or any web page that you are on. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the launcher icon in the lower left, which is that little circle. And we want to find the web store, but if it's not on that first row, click the up arrow. And if it's not on this first list, click the second circle that's not filled in. So I know mine is right there. So I'm going to actually right click on this if I'm on a Chromebook. And I'm going to pin this to my shelf down here because I'm going to use this a lot because I love extensions because they make my life easier. So I'm going to go to the web store, which is also the URL chrome.google.com slash web store. And here I am going to type in the search Google Translate. And I know it's an extension, so I could even um, select that or I could just have it filter through extensions, themes, and apps. I want the one that was created by Google. And I'm going to click Add to Chrome. So if you notice right now, next to my address bar, I only have my video casting screencastify extension. So you're going to notice that this icon is going to appear to the right of my screencastify. You can always change the order of them just by dragging. So I'm going to click add extension. So now my Google Translate extension is to the right as well as my screencastify that I'm using, which you can see I'm recording because of the red record uh, light in the corner. So I can close my web store because I downloaded the extension. So Google Translate works with web pages. So I'm just going to go to WBNG. And I'm just going to select this article. So, if I hover over Google Translate extension in the upper right hand corner, it says left click to translate, right click for options. So I want to right click first because I want to select my translations. Oops. There we go. So I'm going to click options. So I am an English speaker. However, I'm thinking of this in people that don't speak English natively. So I'm going to find Spanish. And obviously, they have lots of options. So you would choose what their native language is, so Spanish. And then I personally am selecting immediately display the pop-up. But obviously, you can change your setting to whatever works for you. But I don't want to have the frustration of having to look for this pop-up before it does it. If I'm double tapping or selecting on something, I want it to show up. So we're going to click Save. So it's lovely that it told me. And I can close this tab. So I'm going to go to Toddlers. Oops. And so I just double clicked on it because it said uh, left click to translate. So I'm going to change it to, well, I know I'm a Spanish speaker. I want them to translate to English. And then I can also have it read to me what it says in Spanish. So I should hopefully be picking up more vocabulary through this. Another way to use this, you can also um, highlight and it will translate it as well. And again, read it to me if I click on the speakers. The other thing I can do is I can, um, sorry, unhighlight would help if I did that first. So I unhighlighted notice. So now I'm gonna go to the extension and I can just type in, what is the weather like today? and click translate and so 
there it is in English, there it is in Spanish. They would probably be typing in Spanish versus English, but using their native language. And so these are two ways just to use the Google Translate extension. And remember, this works with web pages, not like Google Docs, because Google Docs has its own Translate add-ons um, to use.